Hello boys and girls of all ages, it's your man Baza B, ready for another episode of One Man and His Boat. Are you busy? No? Come on then, put the feet up and enjoy the video for the next 10 minutes. So, did you notice? Did you notice the change in the intro? Hmm, no you didn't? Go back, have another wee look. There's a wee couple of tweaks in there. See if you can spot what they are, write in a comment below. Right guys, what are we going to cover in this video? Well, first of all, I have to apologise to you guys because I haven't been putting 100% into these last few vlogs. Uh, Basically, I've got no other excuse apart from I'm beat and I'm pressured, and it's all to do with this sea fish thing. Um, I've had a lot of good advice for you guys and a lot of support, and I can't thank you enough. It's because of you that I'm making this video now, and I'm pumping up the game. So, thank you very much, guys. Your support means everything to me. So, sea fish, where are we at? Well, I got up to the standard that the sea fish uh, wanted it to. I think it's over and above what needs done for this size of vessel. However, my opinion doesn't count as they make the decision. That is why I'm feeling ran down and I'm feeling pressured because I've been building this boat for coming up for a year now and over the last two months, I think, since the sea fish thing really got kicked into gear, that's where I've been feeling the pressure. And it's starting to affect me, it really is. So you can take that to know anybody that's building a boat, if you're not getting a boat builder to do it and you're thinking about doing it yourself, you can forget about weekends, you can f forget about family time because it's just hours, hours, hours. You need to chuck as many hours as you can in at your project and you have to make sure it's to sea fish specification. Yes, I know sea fish are giving up. Um, on the 20th of July actually, and MC are taking over, but that's only up to 15 metres. If you've got a 15 metre boat and over, it's still sea fish you've got to do. But I think the way MCA are going is they're still going by sea fish specification, and that's for 50 metres down to uh, your 6 metre boat. So you still have to build it to the regulations. Yeah, I know, I know. So, your little boat that you think that you're only going to go two miles out to sea and then five miles from a safe haven, you've still got to build it like you've gone 60 miles out to the Norwegian sector to get the huge halibut and the plenty of cod. I don't blooming know. Right, I'm going to stop twittering on and we're going to get on with today's job, which is... Putting a shiny piece on our stem. Yeah! Right guys, a wee quick look at the work I've been doing over the last week, week and a half. Um, if you watched last week's vlog, then you'll know that I had to replace this because there was a, a bit of Douglas fur over there and it's two inches above the engine and that wasn't uh, happy for sea fish. So I've now replaced it with 4x4 four four box section stainless steel, 5mm thick and I've beefed up the clamps a wee bit. Um, obviously you can see a gap there. You've got to remember that the hatch will be fiberglassed into that area and then also the uh, brackets itself will get screwed up into the frame too so that's another fixing point for it all and it's honestly you could probably if, if that was solid, a solid piece you could lift the boat with this uh, I swear to god so we'll see this week if it actually passes or no so I'm not going to go in any moaning because I am a famous for my moaning but I'm a Scotsman that's what we do <laughs> right let's get on with this uh, stem Right guys, the Lindsay B stem, we need to protect this front end just in case Barry's got dodgy driving and he's scalped uh, a boat or uh, the scalps appear. <laughs> it has happened in the past, uh, I know one fellow that can say for sure because I actually had a broken cable and I went and rammed into one of my friend's boats. Sorry Doogie. 
I'll, ne I'll never forget that, son. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've already prepped the area. We've scuffed it down. And what we're going to do is I've got two millimeter bit of stainless steel that I've already prepped. Done it off camera. Sorry, you weren't here yesterday, and I was still feeling a bit down yesterday. But we're on it today. We're on it. Um, what I'm going to do is actually glue this. And why I have to glue this? It's all because of my crash bulkhead. Here we go. See if I specification again. My crash bulkhead actually comes to about there. Can you see that on the eye? About there on the boat. Now I can't penetrate that glass bulkhead. It's it's got to be an air pocket that if the boat sinks, the stem of the boat will, st will stay floating in the water so the uh, rescue parties can find you. Hopefully the boat doesn't sink completely. So, obviously, that's why I've got to use the glue. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually seek a flex the back of it, get it glued on, put some posts up at certain points on the stainless steel itself, and leave it for about 48 hours, I think. The guidelines say about 24, but I'm going to leave it 48 and uh, hash on my other jobs. I think it looks not too bad, eh? Yeah. Right, shall we go on with this, shall we? I think so. Boys and girls, as you can see, I've got a bent shaft. <gasps> Matron! <laughs> Dirty buggers. Anyway, best grinder, gain up the ghost. Too much a wobble in that. 
it was getting unsafe to use so I just sacked that and I went back to the grinder to polish up the uh, bit of stainless steel and it's done a not too bad job however I have now ordered um, something more capable to do the job online so that'll be here in a couple of days but that's not stopping us actually putting this on we're still going to put it on we'll get it all buffed up uh, when it's getting near launch time so it'll be all shiny shiny so oh by the way by the way jumpers back on in the last two hours it's went for nice and warm to absolutely baltic freezing scottish summers you've got to love them <laughs> Guys, I'm absolutely happy with that for now. Right guys, we've got it all sorted out now. Um, the reason I've left the wee gap between the metal and the hull is you need the glue to do the work. If you put the battens on too tightly, what happens is the glue will get squeezed out and there's nothing left there to hold the metal onto the hull. So that's why we've left the good gap that we have and the battens are just really keeping it in place while it sets. So what we'll do is we'll leave that 48 hours uh, and then we'll get it all sealed up and we'll get it all looking very nice. Right guys, because I've still not quite got to my mother's yet so I can able to download the better videos, the longer ones, I'm afraid I'm going to have to say cheerio for this week. Um, Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for all your support. You're all magic, honestly. You really give me that boost in the confidence to keep going with these videos. I mean, I'm quite sure you want to see this get launched just as much as I do. <laughs> right, guys, uh, I'd like to a quick shout out to Mr. Jeff Carter, who's been working hard behind the scenes with our intro and helping me out the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've got a few more ideas that are going to be coming as the weeks goes on, so just keep an eye out guys, uh, things will be happening sooner rather than later of uh, changes to the channel. Uh, I'm saying that, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, definitely smash that subscribe button, that's the one I need, I need your subscriptions, help me to help you, and tick that notification bell and YouTube will make you feel very special. Right my lovely friends, until next week, all the very best.